Hey, hey, hey. How you doing, my people? I love you. Thanks for coming back and being together with me every night, every evening, just before you sleep. Welcome to Shastiel Children TV, a place where we listen, learn, and grow through bedtime stories for a money and a day. Are you ready for tonight's story? I hope so. But just before you get to the story, have you brushed your tip? Uh -huh. Are you tucked in? Uh -huh. Are you in mommy's arms or daddy's arms in case you're not in bed? Great. Okay, so let's go straight to the story. Today we are learning about a dude called Doo -doo -doo -doo. Gideon and the Fleas. Remember Gideon? Gideon was a man of God. Let's listen to what happened about his life. And in the Bible, remember it's from which book? Judges chapter 6. So Gideon passes as one of the judges in the Old Testament in the Bible. Okay. So the people of Israel were in trouble. Have you ever been in trouble? Or are you in trouble today? Hmm? Did you get in trouble today? Mm -hmm. Tell me about it there in the comment section. The cruel Midianites ruled over their land and took their food and animals. So they had to hide in caves. These Midianites were like bullies. Have you ever experienced bullies? May you never in the name of Jesus. Bullies are not your portion in Jesus' name. So one day, a young man named Gideon saw an angel sitting under a tree. God wants you to save Israel. The angel said, me? Gideon could not believe it. God had promised to be with Gideon, yet Gideon still wasn't sure that he would be able to beat the Midianites. Have you ever been in a place where you're like, I'm not too strong for this. I'm not too clever for this. I'm not too good for this. I'm too small for this. I'm too tiny. I'm too weak for this. I'm too... Blah, 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 for this. Well, Gideon was also there. But guess what? He believed beyond doubt that as long as God was with him, he was going to make it. I encourage you tonight also, just do it afraid. Trust God and make it happen. Okay? So, let's see what happened. So, the enemy was getting closer and closer. Gideon rounded up a huge army of about 32,000 men. Can you imagine? 32,000 men. But God told Gideon to bring only a very small army of 300 soldiers to fight the Midianites. Can you imagine? From 32,000, trickle down to 300. Where? That is too small. But you know what? A small number with God it's a majority, y'all. It's a majority. So Gideon gave each soldier a torch for one hand and a trumpet for the other hand. Now that was a strategy that God gave Gideon. Even you today, you can tell God, God, give me a strategy for my next level. Give me a strategy for my next thing. Give me a strategy for the next big thing in my life. Then they marched towards the Midianites. At the edge of the camp, the Israelites blew their horns. Then they gave a great shout. In the valley below, the Midianites became terrified and they ran away. God's people had won the battle against their enemy. See? Mm hmm. There is George, uh, Gideon with a horn on one hand and a torch of fire on the other hand and blowing it and making a shout. Uh -huh. And there are the Midianites terrified and running away thinking a major, major, major army was against them. <laughs> Should have known it's only 300 people with a big god. <laughs> Do you feel fearful sometimes? Like you know you can't make it. Like oh my goodness. 
this job is too much or this assignment is too big for me or just what mommy has told you to do is too 